building time. Building time. Who will win and who will fall? Find, Find out, out when we burn the wall. It's building time. Hello, this is Stumpy, and welcome back to Building Time, where Squid and I need to build in time. Yay! Woo, 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 woo. Hi, Stubbs. Hello, Squid. Hello, Slime. Hello, Slime. Right. Hello, Slime. How is everyone mascot. doing today? Is everyone okay? Are you okay? Stubbs, you no, okay? No, 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 don't all answer at once, because we won't understand you. Oh, everyone okay. just said, rrr, rrr, rrr. I, can, I can hear them. One at a time, we're going to go through, okay? Starting with you, Abigail. How are you? Good. Yeah, that's, that's good. That's good. What about you, Timmy? Okay. You, oh. Timmy, you good? There we go. That's everybody done, Stamps. Abigail and Timmy. That's everyone. They're the two people watching. Yeah. The viewership has really declined since <laughs> we got to episode five. We're down five. to two. <laughs> oh, man. Down to, to two left. Two loyal fans, though. <laughs> they, they'll get us through. Anyway, last week we built... Let's go and show quickly over here. We built a man at a gym. Well, we both we both kind of cheated. We both did kind of several men. Well, I guess you did one man cloned <laughs> at a uh, yeah, gym. Yeah, a billion I, different scenes doing different things, I kind of guess, uh... Yeah. And, and I, I built this one down here. And you have all voted. And we have all listened. So this one was Squid's. And this one was mine. And Squid got 188,000 wow. votes. And I got 103,000 votes. Which means for the second week running, Woo. Squid Nugget is the winner. Which also means we are now completely tied neck up. Neck and neck. The, the neck and neck. Stuff. It's dead. It's getting close. Look how close it is. We've got to get all the way up to those barriers. <laughs> Look so how it's... close it is. We, we haven't even like left the ground yet, Stamps. This is pathetic. <laughs> well, this is good. Because I, 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 was, I was getting a little bit worried when I won the first two. I was like, oh, okay, this could... You know, if we're one person's miles ahead, it kind of loses the tension a bit. Yeah. But, uh, this way, the fact that it's now even, even though we got a long way to, to go, it's, uh, it's it's exciting. All is to play for. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm excited to build this week. I want to see what the topic is. So, shall we get started? Shall we go see what it is? Yep. Yep, so if you don't have the, the topics are selected, you need to leave a comment down below. A lot of people have been tweeting or commenting directly to me saying, I've got an idea for a topic, but there's no point because we are not the ones that choose the topics. We do not know what the topic is going to be until we switch the lever. You already know what the topic is going to be because you can see the title of the, the video. <laughs> but we do not know uh, until we uh, go and uh, and pull the, uh, the lever. So if you want to suggest a topic, leave it as a comment down below. But there's going to be a special theme for next week, which we're going to be exploring Explaining Ooh, at the end of the episode. Oh, I think I know what it's going to be. And also, this little booth here, for the first time, the redstone was done by Squid. And I uploaded a special video to the Magic Animal Club of Squid attempting to do the very simple redstone. In record and times, having stamps, a little bit of if difficulty. I may add, it was, you know, super fast. Before you even <laughs> switch the recording <laughs> and, on, it and was Squid done. Yeah, let me point out that Squid didn't know I was recording either, <laughs> so it was 100% genuine. So there'll be a link to the uh, to that in the description as well if you want a bit of a cheeky laugh. But anyway, Squid, yeah. go ahead, pull the, oh, the lever. Let's see what we're up week. to today. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, oh. I'm doing it. Aww. It took too long. Right. Woo! We have to build alien planet. an alien planet. Amelia That's Jane. That's cool. That is, of course, the gestion. Who? Amelia. Thank you, Amelia Jane, Whoa. for suggesting to build an alien, alien planet. planet. This is... Wow. Stop. Wow. Are we just stole the dress what to do again. <laughs> yeah. You keep speaking, Squid. Let me think. Oh, no, we're going to start the timer. <laughs> right. So, you ready? Yep, the countdown in three, three two, two one. one. Go. Right. The uh, the building has started. Well, the, the time has started. The building hasn't started because, yep, not joking. I don't know what to, to do. Right. I think uh, I think Endstone makes a, a nice alien planet. So let's just start off uh, by just covering this uh, in Endstone for just a, a nice start. So once again, I'm not going to, to dig down at all. I'm just going to go and fill it all in because uh, I don't think it matters too much. So this is a, a nice alien planet. And then I can do some rocks. Maybe an alien cave. I also think that uh, mycelium uh, looks uh, like a, a quite nice alien material. And then the uh, the exciting thing is going to be building the actual aliens. Of course, we cannot have an alien planet without the aliens. So I'm going to go and uh, try and come up with some rather cool designs uh, for, yeah, how the, the aliens are going to, to be. I could maybe add... I wish I could add different colour water. 
Like, I could add lava and kind of say that's that's like their weird water, I guess. But I feel like water would kind of ruin it. But it would have been cool to, to have a lake. So uh, what I could do is maybe do like an alien building. Or like a, uh, what about like an alien tree house? If I put like a jungle tree down, actually no, I don't want to do a normal tree, I want it to be a weird coloured tree. Uh, let's just improvise, let's just build away, <laughs> and I can try and think about what uh, I need to do. It's kind of quite nice just doing all the, the floor first, uh, because I don't really need, to, need to, to think much, and it gives me some time to kind of work out what I'm going to do. So, alien trees aliens and uh, maybe an alien cave if I have time and maybe some like alien machinery possibly if I could try and do that it's hard because there are some texture packs uh, which are, are very alien themed there's like a halo one and a mass effect one uh, which would have been really easy it's kind of hard to make it not look like normal minecraft you have to be very inventive so uh, let's do some let's do some sponge trees because sponge looks a little bit uh, like the the leaves, but of course uh, a bit of a, a funky yellow color. So let's go and uh, try and do some sponge trees. And I'm sure that my area is twice the size as it normally is. <laughs> normally I'd have been able to finish doing the floor. And this is over two minutes into the, the time and I'm only doing the floor. But you know what? I bet that squid's doing the exact same thing on the, the other side. If not with uh, endstone, uh, with something else, I bet he's just covering the, the floor as well. So uh, let's not spend too much time on the, the terrain, because uh, I want to go and spend some time doing details. I think that's what uh, squid did last week and why he was able to win. I spent a lot of time doing the, the floor and the, the walls, and he kind of didn't bother. And uh, yeah, as you can see, he almost doubled, uh, doubled the, the amounts of votes uh, that I got. So right, what can the... Um what could the the trees be made out of then? So I said sponge for the the top. So where's sponge? Where's sponge? I don't build out a sponge because I don't use creative mode too much. So there we go. There's some sponge. And what could the the bark be made out of? What about coal? Would that be a weird alien tree? And let's do it like kind of a weird shape. So I'm kind of go up a little bit, and then it could kind of go uh, across like that. What about if it like dangles a little bit? It's like a dangly tree. So it kind of goes along like this, and then this bit could go down, and this could be like a, just a weird alien plant. So not even necessarily a, a tree, it's just a, a weird alien plant. So let's just go and uh, try and build as much alien stuff. I want to just build a lot and fast, and then that way I just want to make it like a, a proper alien scene. So rather than just doing a, a few things, I want to try and build uh, as much uh, as I can, uh, and then that way it kind of like, I want it to be like you're walking into an alien world. So when you get to this side, you're know, going to be walking around and you're going to be like, whoa, I've just like visited another planet. That's kind of the, uh, the effect I'm going for. So let's go and build this around. Have I done this the same on all sides? Uh, I think I have. There we go. This is a... Oh, no. This is a bit wonky here. I need to feel... Uh, actually, let's break away these blocks and then fill in that there. There we go. That's looking a little bit better. So this is my weird alien plant. And then let's do like... I could do some vines kind of hanging off it. Uh, that will look quite cool. And if I kind of just place a few of these down, uh, hopefully they would have grown a little bit more uh, by the time the channel... Uh, the, uh, the time is done. And uh, then I can go and put some glowstone in the underneath there. There we go. Here is my weird alien plant thing. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> let's go and do like an alien house or something then, shall we? Uh, let's go and build out of some kind of alien-like material. So I guess it'll all kind of be a bit metallic and metal. Uh, so let's go and try and use... Um I know that quartz isn't metallic. Uh, iron, I guess, would be a, a nice thing to build out of. So let's just try and build an alien home, shall we? And uh, once again, I have no idea how I'm going to do this. I need it to all look weird. Let's do it kind of like on a raised platform. If I get some never brick fences, maybe, uh, I could all do it kind of slightly raised up here. So let's go uh, into the corner. I want to make the uh, the most out of the, the room I have available to me. And this is going to be kind of like the equivalent of an alien hut, but all kind of like spacey, you know, kind of as if they're living on a, an alien planet. And this is an alien planet so it does make sense so uh, let's go and do a uh, iron floor I will go and fill all of this in here like this and we could do a, a piston that gets extended uh, which allows you to get up and into the uh, the front door so these can be the the doors here and then we do some iron here so I can go and fit some uh, uh, let's do some weighted pressure plates these can once again be made out of iron and will this open the doors it will do brilliant all right then let's go and add in some pistons here so it can be like an automatic way uh, for you to go and get pushed up so if I go and do one there and one there and then put some blocks on top of it. Uh, let's go and choose a uh, diamond because why not? <laughs> I'm just making the uh, the most of being able to, to build out of a, a bunch of things I can't normally build out of. Then if I put these here, could I go like, hmm, th that does kind of work actually. If I kind of go like, oh, okay, it's not very easy. <laughs> 
<laughs> to be honest, it's not the easiest thing in the uh, the world to, to be able to, to get up. Uh, let's just try and do a, a good old-fashioned lever then, shall we? So uh, you can go and, uh, if I just do these, I want to not waste too much time on this. There we go. If I do this, you can go and stand up here, and then you push it, and then it lifts you up. There we go. That will do. That will be fine. I don't want to waste any more time. Uh, let's go and actually try and do uh, a little bit more of the, the building, because I do definitely uh, want to make sure I have time uh, to add in the, the actual alien. So... And let's go and try and do a, let's do a, an alternation between diamond and emerald, uh, once again, because they're materials I don't get to, to build out of much, and uh, I want this uh, to look a, a little bit cool and weird. Uh, so let's just kind of alternate uh, with these, going the, the whole way through, and then we could do some uh, some stained glass uh, as well, I guess, uh, to kind of add some, like, alien-type windows in. So let's just go and uh, finish this pattern all the way to the, the top, and then come up with a, a roof, and I do realise that I am running out of time super fast this week. I feel like time each week is going slower and I have something to prove. I did not win last week and I did not win uh, the week before so I feel like the uh, the pressure uh, is really on me uh, to be able to, to try and do well this week because I did okay for the, the first two uh, but I've been slowly getting worse and I don't like it <laughs> so I want to get a little bit better. Right then let's go and do uh, let's just have a, a, a green glass roof because why not this will look quite funky. Uh, let's just go like this and fill all of this in. And uh, this is my this is my alien's house. I don't think I build the alien in here because I want it to be more visible. But I can just build some kind of alien-like things in here. So let's not use iron. I've used iron quite a lot already. What's uh, another material I could use? Let's go and use some of these uh, these chiseled quartz because these are quite cool. And uh, let's go and move these uh, along here like this. And then let's just go a bit crazy, adding kind of like redstone type things and uh, daylight sensors are cool. Trip uh, wires, kind of like uh, all sorts of like alien uh, machinery. We can add a dropper there and then. And we can go and add, uh, let's add some redstone torches uh, just uh, along the, the outside like this. Uh, kind of like some alien light things. And uh, what else could we add in? I guess uh, a brewing stand? Uh, could be quite a cool thing. An enchantment table and all of this stuff. This is all perfect like alien uh, materials like this. And then we can go and uh, add in... Um uh, an anvil? No, that's not very alien. Oh, there we go. An, an ender chest. That's quite a, a cool alien-y looking chest. And, and then let's just go and put a uh, a creeper <laughs> on the, the wall as well, because why not? There we go. This is our little alien's house, and there's no way to get out of it, so let's go and uh, add in a uh, another pressure plate. Right, so what I want to do now, before doing anything else, is I want to add my alien in. This place is looking a little bit barren right now. I'm not uh, creating the, the alien landscape uh, landscape that I predicted. So let's, add, uh, let's do a weird one. Let's do like a, a worm alien thing, shall we? Let's not do a traditional green boring alien like I bet Squid Nugget is. Let's try and be a little bit more inventive and do a, a weird worm type alien thing. So uh, let's go like this and then this can be its uh, face here. Uh, we can give it some uh, little uh, little antennas. And uh, this is one of the uh, the alien friends that live on the, the planet. And uh, let's go and just give it a weird face, shall we? Let's go and give it a wither skeleton face. So there we go. <laughs> this is one of the, the weird aliens that live on the, the, the planet. And uh, let's give it like a, a strange tail as well. Maybe the, the the tail kind of alternate oh no let's do it all like that that looks cool i like this this is my weird alien worm that i've created and there's its uh, head there <laughs> right let's go into try and add some more plants and things in then shall we um I don't know what else I could do, because uh, all of the, the normal plants are going to look too human-like. Um, I could add a, a, a beacon somewhere. I could add, like, kind of like a, an alien pyramid type thing. That might be quite cool. And I could do it, like, maybe out of gold. Uh, let's go, yeah, let's go and just uh, add in, like, an alien pyramid thing. This could be uh, what powers uh, everything in this alien land. So I could kind of just do, like, a, a normal beacon tower, I guess. If, so let's uh, put the, the beacon here. And uh, let me see if I can remember exactly how you do these. So let's go and... Uh, fill all of this in here then I think if I build this around here the beacon there we go the beacon has lit up and then let's go and put a, uh, a colored light uh, above it as well uh, just to make it look more alien let's go for a, a traditional uh, green color here and then there we go this is the oh no I need to place it down if I crouch there we go here's my weird alien beacon thing and I've only got five minutes left now so let's go and uh, let's go and add some more alien trees in shall we I think uh, it would be good let's use a uh, soul sand maybe and then what can the the top of the trees be made out of what do I have available to me oh this emerald ore this is quite cool um I don't think that's gonna work for leaves really though is it uh, I don't think hay will uh, let's use melons let's use melons why not use melons so <laughs> let's go and add uh, another alien tree uh, back here 
And then it would be good to add a little bit more terrain, so more uh, hills and mountains and things just to uh, to make the uh, the place look a little bit weirder and more alien-y. So let's go and uh, add some of this in here like this. Uh, so there we go. I think if I just add this in, this is a, another weird alien tree I have at the, the back over here. And now let's go and uh, try and shake up the, the ground. It's all looking too flat. If I want to uh, do what I said earlier and say uh, make it look like you're walking into an alien world, uh, I need to, to make the, uh, the ground a little bit uh, bumpier and I could add some glow stone and stuff in there as well and uh, where's the end stone the end stone is here so let's just kind of go a little bit crazy with this and just uh, start adding it in i can maybe add a, a little pit down here if i go and fill all of this in you know just to make it look like there's a few craters and you know make it look like it is properly uh, an alien planet so let's just go a little bit crazy all the way around the the outside uh, just adding in uh, some of this stuff before we carry on i don't like uh, having a completely blank canvas what well, i do to start with uh, but it's kind of a bit hard to, to build when you kind of look like you're just building on this completely flat ground I kind of want to make, make it look like a, a real alien planet. So let's go and uh, build up here. I could add a, another little crater down here like this. Uh, let's just mess that up a, a little bit there. And right, let's go now and uh, try and do another alien, shall we? So this one, uh, this one can be like a, a free, this could be a free-headed alien. Let's do like free zombie heads. <laughs> and uh, this one could be, uh, I guess, a, a more of a standard. Uh, this one can be uh, green and orange, this one can be. Uh, so it can have... Um, uh, it can have these two little legs like this, and then this can be its, uh, uh, no, let's, let's give it green legs, and then let's give it an orange body. It's gonna look like a carrot, this thing is. <laughs> I've just realized. And, uh, let's do it like a, a bit more square, like this. And then if we build up, like, if I break these away, maybe. I'm really just making this up as I go along, as you can probably tell. Uh, let's go in like this and like this. And then here are its heads. And then it can have, like, these kind of long tentacle things. Basically arms coming down like this. <laughs> oh, I could have, like, arms coming off each side, actually. Here we go. Here's another one of my weird alien creations. It's strange. It's odd. It's an alien planet. That's what this theme's uh, supposed to be all about. So there we go. There is a uh, another one of my aliens here. <laughs> I think this is looking okay. I think this is starting to look uh, a little bit all right. So uh, now I'm going to go and uh, try and... Uh, what else could I add in then? I mean, I don't want to just go too crazy. Well, I think I want to add at least one more alien. Let's go and uh, add uh, another alien living inside of here. Tell you what, let's take that creeper off the, the wall and uh, let's turn that into an, a little alien man uh, that lives inside of here, shall we? So, um... Let's go and do this. Uh, this is my little alien man. And let's go and do it as if he's got like a, a computer on his belly. Like, let's just pretend this is like a screen in his belly. It's like a robot, this thing is. Oh, a robot! That's what I could build. I could build a robot. That might be quite cool. Aliens, of course, would have robots. Why wouldn't they have robots? Let's go and uh, try and build a, a little robot, maybe down the, the front here. Uh, so I guess I could use some uh, iron for, for this. I could do it kind of as if it's a... um. Uh, as if it's like on treads a little bit, I guess. If I go like, uh, how can I make it look like it's on treads? Let's let's just use like pistons and things, shall we? Um, the pistons could be arms. Here we go. Uh, let's go like this. These are the the robot's arms, like this. And then we could do the the robot head there, like that. And uh, let's try and how could we do a robot face? Let's just try and use a um. Uh, let's just try and use a a sign. And let's just try and do a, a roboty looking face. I don't really know how that would work. I guess kind of like square features. I guess if I do that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, like that. There we go. There's its eyes. That looks quite good, doesn't it? And now let's try and do its mouth. And what would the, the mouth be like? Um... I guess like this, uh, if I go like that, uh, there we go, this is the, the robot's face, and then we can just go and add a, a lever on its belly like that, no, let's just do a button, so then you can press the, the button, and then its arms will extend, there we go, there's the uh, the little robot friend, <laughs> which I have with the uh, the alien planet, and I am really uh, running out of time now, so let's just go crazy, and uh, just add uh, a bunch of other kind of alien-y looking blocks, uh, just uh, around the place, so, uh, this is a little deposit of alien gold, which is different to normal gold, because it's alien, <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much the only difference. I could add some like down in these little like uh, these little craters that I built as well, couldn't I? Uh, some of these emeralds and things, and then uh, let me go and add a, a little bit of soul sand around the place. Uh, this is quite a, a cool alien-looking material, and I literally have 15 seconds left, so it's just a, a matter of doing finishing touches. But overall, I think I am happy uh, with what I have uh, managed to, to build so far. I think this is an okay-looking alien planet, but I have now just about run out of time. So let's unmute my mic and uh, say hello to Squid and see how well he has been doing hello hello squid nugget hello 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 hello, hello squid hello. how did that go pretty good i enjoyed this week it's pretty good 
Yeah, me too. I, I, I had some, some good fun with this one. So are you ready to, to do what needs to be done? I am ready, my good sir. Let's do it. Let's burn the wall. Right. Burn the wall. Burn the wall. Burn, burn the wall. wall. Burn the wall. Burn the wall. Oh, no. I'm nearly burnt burn my side. The wall. Okay, there we go. <laughs> that you, wouldn't okay? have been good. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> I, I look and it's just a big flame ball on your side. <laughs> it's a fiery planet. Ooh. Pretty much the sun. All right, let's have a look. Ah! Ooh. They're not they're not too dissimilar actually. Let, let's go and look at your one first this week, shall we? Okay. So this is the planet of. Uh, this is the dancing shape. <laughs> the planet of Xander. Xander. Sant Xander. Xander. It's Xander. Oh, I just saw the Earth. Oh, yeah. that's cool. All yeah. Right, let's let's go. A, so, a, a nice fenced off land. <laughs> he is, but I didn't want the uh, the creatures to escape, you see. So this is my alien. Okay. That's uh, basically it. It's just an alien. <laughs> but I like <laughs> him. I like it. I went wild with him. Um, well, 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 what's the, what's this bit? Is, that, is this like a hat or are these like antlers? These are like uh, antlers because, uh, yeah, the, 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 the name of the planet is Zantder. So it's kind of like antler. So... Yeah, he's got antlers on. Anyway, okay. this is my rocket with a testificate in. Ah, uh, so, so, so he's travelled to the alien he's travelled, planet. He's travelled, you see, from Earth, if you look ah. above. That's, that's where he's travelled from, up there. Oh. No, 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 not a big journey. To the alien planet! Hooray! <laughs> 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 you just pushed the rocket And here's the, the diving off. board. <laughs> and that's the flag. Good. I, I like this one. You kind of did better what I wanted to do. I kind of wanted to give the sense that you are just walking into like an alien world. I think you built the terrain up more than me, which I probably should have. But I spent a lot of time panicking and trying to decide what to do. But <laughs> spent yeah. a lot of time panicking. <laughs> well, I, I, come, I, come, I come and introduce you to my friend. So I kind of just went to add as much as I could. So this is the, the robot. He's who greets you. You can have a go. Yeah, press the button. <laughs> <laughs> and then th oh, this was man. just kind of like a, an alien pyramid thing. I thought a beacon was quite a cool alien thing. So okay. I just added that in. Uh, this is oh, I don't know who this fellow is. I think this was one of yours that travel. Yeah, this is he's my escaped. like. This is my like slug alien thing. Okay. Okay. Then this is my like free-headed alien with a bot lots of tentacles. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. <laughs> then I got so, some alien plants over here. You see my alien trees. Nice melon trees. Yeah, and, and, nice and a sponge steps. tree. And then look, if you come over here. Then this is the uh, this is the the aliens' home. So if you go and stand stand on the diamond blocks, or just charge straight in, whatever doesn't matter. Is this the alien? Uh, this, this is one of the this is one of the aliens. It's got a screen in its belly. That's what gave me the idea wow. to do the robot. That's the future. Then here's all the alien apparatus. But you, you skip the best bit. Look, look come out. Oh, these doors are really annoying. They come out here. Look. So you you stand here and then you pull the lever and then it takes you in. Just like that. Ah, oh, that's cool. See? That's pretty good. They're very there different. We it's very different this week. Yeah, yeah, as, I, I always like it when we can get. when we do something uh, something different. I think it's a uh, yeah, I, th I think it's hopefully going to be a, another close one this week. So yeah. all that's left to do now uh, is to to vote. So you vote in the the same way you do every week. Uh, if you're watching on a, a phone or tablet, the easiest way is to click the I on the uh, the top of the screen, uh, and then you can click either vote for Stampy or vote for Squid. Uh, or if you want to, there's just a link in the uh, the description, uh, so you can go and vote down there as well if you would like to. Yeah, and then count the votes up, and then next Friday we will announce the winner for this week. So it's gonna be a tough one. This is gonna be tough. It's gonna be a tough. Eh? It's gonna be interesting. Yeah, I'm though. looking forward to find out who's going to win. But seeing as we're talking about next week, uh, the next week's topic is going to be getting a little bit spookier. Oh, is that because it's Halloween? It is. It's because next week is going to be Ooh. Halloween. So we want Halloween themed topics, you know. Try and make them quite broad, you know, like haunted mansion Build or, a pumpkin. you know, scary clown or, you know. So, yeah, try and come up with a, a good Halloween theme. And, uh, yeah, we're going to be doing it in the Halloween texture pack as well, which means it's going to be even spooky. And we're going to be setting it at night time as well. So bear that in, in mind. Don't say, like, scary sun because uh, <laughs> it's going to be scary. During uh, during the the night time, so yeah. If you have any uh, good ideas for themes, I leave them as a comment down below. And if you see anyone else that suggested a theme that you like, just thumb it up as well. And then there's more chance of it being chosen. Yeah. So we'll join you next week, guys, for the Halloween special. Thanks for watching. See you all later. Bye. Bye.